our Earth is becoming warmer. Every year we are seeing heat records around the world being broken. It is now becoming more and more evident that this is being caused by humans. Every day, humans burn fossil fuels. Fossil fuels can come in the form of everyday necessities such as petrol, diesel and coal. When we burn these fossil fuels, they turn into harmful gases such as carbon dioxide and carbon monoxide. These gases rise up and hang around the top of our atmosphere, unable to escape. When the sun beams its heat on our Earth, usually a lot of the light is reflected back into space. However, because of the gases making the atmosphere seem thicker, the heat is trapped within the atmosphere, heating our planet up like an oven. Yet climate change doesn't just make our Earth warmer. It causes our weather patterns to change. Dry places get drier and wet places get wetter. This is not good for humans. It causes the production of food to become harder and finding suitable places for people to live even more difficult. The rise in sea level is linked to three primary factors, all induced by this ongoing global climate change. The first being thermal expansion. When water heats up, it expands. About half of the past century's rise in sea level is caused by warmer oceans which simply occupy more space. Another significant factor would be the melting of glaciers and polar ice caps. Large ice formations like glaciers and the polar ice caps naturally melt back a bit each summer. But in the winter, snows, consisting mainly of evaporated seawater, are generally sufficient to balance out the melting. Recently though, persistently higher temperatures caused by global warming have led to a greater than average summer melting as well as diminished snowfall due to later winters and earlier springs. This imbalance results in a significant net gain in runoff versus evaporation for the ocean, causing sea levels to rise. With the sea levels predicted to rise 30 centimetres in New Zealand by 2050, coastal towns in New Zealand and around the world are going to be impacted significantly. Although 30 centimetres may sound pretty minor at this stage, there are major flow on effects that could potentially wipe out whole communities. Coastal properties and infrastructure in low-lying areas are going to have to be regularly monitored as the rapid rise is enough to intensify king tides, storm surges, flooding and coastal erosion across New Zealand. All around the world, higher sea levels are likely to cause flooding of marshes and coastal plains. Processes can be put in place such as putting protective walls into sheltered townships. However, this is not a long-term solution.